organization key for this episode of 1490 WOMI's Morning Show. Barbara Reich is joining us today. And now we have been talking about New Year's resolutions for the majority of the month. And as we sit midway, we might want to take a look around and see what's going on. So what you are, you know, the expert, and as it says in your description, the go-to guru. I like that. Oh, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> That's great. So welcome to the morning show. Thank you. So you have a book, and it's called Secrets of an Organized Mom. Is that right? That is correct. All right. And in the book, you give tips and advice to mothers, and you also stress that organization isn't just about, you know, a clean house. It could also mean, you know, clearing out your brain. Is that right? It's 100% true. It's about clearing out all the clutter in your life, whether it's physical clutter or emotional clutter or mental clutter. Absolutely. So how's the family? My twins turned 14 yesterday. Or well, Saturday. happy birthday to them. Yes, it was quite a weekend of celebration. <laughs> I bet. Okay, so the, the, the twins, did that maybe spark um, a little bit of inspiration for the book? Well, that, it certainly did, and I even say in my dedication that, you know, my family gives me endless things to organize, so I guess I am grateful for that. Um, but I do want to stress that the, the book is not just for moms. Um, you can really pick this book up. It's a room-by-room -room guide of how to organize the rooms in your house, how to organize your life. It's not the kind of book that you need to pick up and read cover to cover. You can read a chapter here, a chapter there, and it really um, is a great book for anyone looking for some organizational tips. For sure. Now, I read an article about four steps to stay ahead of the curve, if you will. Could you explain some of that? Well, if you want to really organize something, there are a couple of steps that you go through. And the first is you have to purge. And some things are easier to purge than others. Sometimes there's what I call low-hanging fruit, which is stuff that's been shoved in that you didn't know was there, you didn't want, you didn't need, and you would have thrown it away in the moment had you taken the time to think about it. And there's some things that are more emotional, like, you know, your grandfather's pictures that, you know, only really exist in one place. Right. So when you purge, you have to consider whether something is broken, whether it's beyond repair, whether you'll never use it again and you never want it, and that's easy. You have to think about whether it's something that could be easily replaced, like a wire or a charger if you made a mistake, or things that really are truly valuable. And if they are, they shouldn't be shoved in the bottom of the closet. They should be saved in a way that really communicates their importance. That's right. Okay, so, so that's really on, the first step is purging. Absolutely. First step, purging. I like it. Now, there's three other ones if you'd like to. So once you've purged, the next thing you want to do is you want to really design the space. So you want to design the infrastructure. You want to figure out, do you need containers? Do you need bins? Can you add an extra shelf? What is it that you need to do to make that place work for you? Right, right, right. So, so that would be the next step. Okay, step three. Step three. This is the fun part, really, which is organizing. Oh, so yeah. So there's now a place for everything. You get to put everything in its place. And when you're putting fewer things back into a space, it can't help but look better. And, you know, that really is, you know, a fresh, fresh look at a space. And then finally, there is maintain. And there's just really no point in spending the time getting organized if you can't keep it that way. So... The final step is you have to come up with systems that will keep you on track for the long term. And the key thing here is using a label maker like the Brother P. Touch label maker to label everything. Because you could spend hours in your pantry grouping together the different varieties of hot teas and the cereals and putting the, your dry goods like sugar and flour in beautiful canisters. But if you don't label them, you have zero chance that things will get put back in the right places. For sure, for sure. Now, if you're just joining us, Barbara Reich is with us. She's speaking on some of the secrets of an organized mom. Now, um, I wrote an article not too long ago about organization, and your, your, your work inspired that. I just wrote it today, actually. And it was a, sort of a top ten list of you know, how to stay organized, the best ways to do things, and you definitely inspired that article in itself. But Ah, oh, okay. If you had to just choose one thing that, that, that you do personally that maybe would help out people, you know, just in the slightest way but could grow to just be a, you know,
know, a great tip, what would that be? Well, I would say that, you know, one really, really key thing is that routines work, and you need to do it the same way every time. And when you do something the same way every time, every day, it becomes rote. You no longer have to think about it, and that frees up mental space to think about things that are more important. So, for example, if you always put your house keys in the same pocket of your bag, Mm -hmm. you don't have to fumble around looking for them when you leave the house or when you're coming home. Or if you put your cell phone in the same place in your bag, you're not rooting around your bag looking for missing phone calls. So do it the same way every time. And this also applies to to kids and their homework. If they have a routine around homework where the homework simply goes from the backpack to the place where they do the homework and back into the backpack, no one's scrambling around at 7.45 in the morning while the bus is waiting outside looking for the homework. That's right. All right. Well, that's a uh, a great tip. And of course, we uh, we definitely want to thank you for coming on. And of course, happy birthday to the kids again. Thank you. And I do encourage for people who are looking for some inspirational stories about how to use the label maker and uh, use that to maintain organization in their own home, they should go to the Brother uh, P-Touch website to look at their 25 days of P-Touch labeling campaign. It's www.brother-usa.com slash ptouch25. Okay, and for tips and tricks that uh, you have, do you have a website yourself? I do. It's um, www.resourcefulconsultants.com, and I'm happy to have your listeners uh, check out my Facebook, which is Barbara Reich, R-E-I-C-H, Resourceful Consultant. All right. Well, that's wonderful. We want to thank you again for joining the morning show here on News Talk 1490 WOMI. And again, we want to remind everybody that, um, you know, it's not just about physical clutter. Like like Barbara said just a, while, a little while ago, you can clear out things in your head as well. Absolutely. All right, Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. All right, thank you. You too.